in our last lesson uh, we talked about the effect of pressure on equilibrium and just towards the end of the lesson we are trying to conclude that at the moment we have uh, equal number of molecules in the reactant side and products then uh, pressure change has no effect on uh, equilibrium whether you increase pressure or decrease pressure the equilibrium will not uh, shift to either of the two directions so today we want to discuss a change in temperature the effect of change in temperature at on uh, equilibrium Many industrial processes are based on chemical equilibrium. The ability to change the position of equilibrium in a, a chemical reaction by changing the condition of the reaction is important in such processes. For example, in Haber process, what happens? Nitrogen under hydrogen gases react exothermically the reaction is exothermic that is the key point when you want to talk about change in temperature in the effect of equilibrium it is important to know whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic so we have said that in the Haber process nitrogen gas react with hydrogen gas exothermically to form ammonia that is plus heat and then delta H is negative 92 kilojoule per mole In any reversible reaction, if one of the reaction is exothermic, then the reverse reaction is uh, endothermic. So reverse is endothermic. For this reaction, what is the effect when you increase temperature? Increase in temperature. The increase in temperature will favor backward reaction since forward reaction is exothermic implying the backward is uh, endothermic we have to oppose the change increase in temperature will mean that we are trying to reduce the heat loss in order to reduce that heat loss there has to be backward reaction favored because the moment you talk about favoring forward reaction then more 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 and more heat will be lost in the process so already forward reaction has a loss of heat so backward reaction should have this 
gain of heat that was lost in the first process. So that's why we are saying increase in temperature favors backward reaction. Since, since forward reaction is uh, exothermic, backward reaction is endothermic. So to curb that heat loss, increase uh, in temperature will favor now the backward reaction. What is the effect on decrease in temperature? it leads to high yield of ammonia because there is a heat that is lost and that point of losing more heat has been reduced. So more of ammonia is now being formed. So decrease in temperature favors forward reaction. That is more yield of uh, ammonia. Since forward reaction is uh, exothermic, therefore favored by low temperature. So we will have more ammonia as a result of uh, decrease in temperature so in general in any exothermic reaction in any exothermic reaction temperature increase favors backward reaction And uh, temperature decrease favors forward reaction. In any endothermic reaction increase in temperature favor the endothermic reaction which means increase in temperature in endothermic will favor forward reaction favors because you want more heat to break the particles to break the bond so increase in temperature favors forward reaction and uh, decrease in temperature
favors backward reaction so that is all about the effect of uh, temperature in equilibrium let us finalize this by talking about catalyst and equilibrium so the effect of catalyst so catalyst has no effect on the position of equilibrium about position it has no effect It only alters the rate of reaction at which the equilibrium is attained. Catalyst only alter the rate of reaction at which equilibrium is attained that is to say it will only make the equilibrium attained faster but has no effect on the direction of uh, equilibrium and that marks the end of the topic a reaction rate and equilibrium